Forecasting our future earlier this week, research meteorologists discussed how they can best guard homes against hail damage. Meteorologist Griffin Hardy traveled to Richburg to learn more. We're here at the Insurance Institute of Business and Home Safety down in Richburg, learning about hail impacts. They've got a full freezer full of hailstones up to two inches here and a hail cannon that they shoot at shingles to figure out exactly how much damage they can do. Three, two, one. Dr. Ian Giamanco is the lead research meteorologist here at IBHS and met Wednesday with fellow hail researchers from the Northern Hail Project based in Alberta, Canada. Their main goal is to find new ways to construct homes and businesses that help mitigate costs from damages brought by severe hailstorms. And so it's very important as you start to get tired of dealing with replacing your roof from hail damage to look for better performing building products that can actually remove some of that frustration of having to replace your roof every three or four years. And in the lab, there's a huge amount of equipment they use to replicate realistic hailstones. Even getting the chemical composition of each hailstone along with the size is considered during testing. To create our laboratory hailstones, we actually use dissolved carbon dioxide to help introduce gas and really tiny, tiny bubbles that mimic some of the same structure and strength that you see in natural hailstones. We want hailstone number seven to be the same as hailstone number 205. So we've got to match those ice properties to be able to shoot them at the different materials so they get a fair shake in how we understand the modes of damage. Now again, which ones perform well, which products don't perform well. The practical application for what's being done here is what Dr. Giamanco says is one of the most rewarding parts of the research they get to do here at IBHS. A lot of times when we do research, we're doing it to get a, a better scientific understanding. But in this case, we're not only learning and, and advancing the science, we have a practical application for all of us who have roofs, who have walls that get, can get damaged from hail. Uh, so that's one of the most rewarding things about this work. Reporting in Richburg, meteorologist Griffin Hardy, WYFF News 4.